What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today, in the wonderful world of indie games, the Frabjus world, really, we're going to be checking out Grief Helm. This is kind of like a. So, you know, the combat system from Mountain Blade, where you parry up, you parry down, the combat system from, like, Chivalry, uh, the combat system from, you know, all those games. This is a side scrolling game of battling knights with a combat system just like that. So, during the course of today's adventure, we're going to be battling with claymores, wearing heavy helmets. Hearing the clunk of blows being dealt and attempting, you know, to guard on high. I think it's an interesting, compelling game just because, you know, that combat system isn't really used enough. And I do think that it's like one of the more skill-based combat systems to ever be created with like directional blocking and whatnot. And honestly, I can't wait to see sort of how the idea develops with this one. So let's dive on in. We're going to play for about 30 minutes. And if after wanting to see this or after watching this video, you can check out the links down below in the description so you can get it for yourself. Or if you find that it's not your cup of tea, you can pass. Along with that, check out the links to the Twitch stream. Check out all that stuff. Oh, we can choose what we look like. Apparently, I'm just stuck with what I've got going on right now. Uh, obviously, we're going to go keyboard and mouse. There we go. Let's roll. So here we are inside of our first little area. Uh, the controls in this game are pretty simple. You backpedal, you move forward with WAST. If you press control, it'll flip you around. Or at least it did in the tutorial. Okay, maybe it's not doing it right now because I can't turn around. But anyways, we can block high, we can block low, we can block mid if we want to, and then we can attack high, we can attack low, and we can attack mid if we want to. We can also jump. In case you were wondering, we're kind of in like waist deep water right now, so it's probably not going to work out altogether that great. But let's go see if we can prove our worthiness here. I do like the lighting effects though too, like it looks really, really good. It's a very, very like visually exciting looking game. Although I wish my plume was a little bit more flowy. It doesn't seem to flow at the rate that I was, Oh, dude, what is that? Oh no, man. We've been annihilated by a wall of mothballs to the butt. The battle awaits. Hell yeah, it does. Let's get out there, dude. Let's tune some of these cats up. I don't even know who they are. I don't know if they're good guys. I don't know if they're bad guys. Either way, they're getting both edges of the claim. I might even hit them with the hilt if I have to. All right, who is this dude? When you strike your opponent down, you gain control, which allow you to run towards the enemy's lair. The bar on the top will indicate who has control. All right, all right. Oh, no. Oh, God. He came out hot, dude. Okay. All right. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Okay. So it's like Bushido Blade. They die with like one hit. Let's keep on moving. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. He got me with the straight. He got me. Oh, there it is. I finished him off. I don't know how much health I have, though. I have no idea how much like health we have on our character. Okay. Uh, Don't really want to deal with that, but okay. Yeah, there you go. Stab him right in the groin until he flies off into some bushes. Where's the enemy camp at? There we go. I'll get a stab off right there. There we go. Just take I'm gonna be aggressive, dude. I'm playing I'm trying to go I'm trying to parry and repost, but I don't really think there's a Oh dude, he came off the screen swinging. Okay, so the game predicted that I was gonna get aggressive. Understood. Understood. What are you trying to do over here? What's up with you, man? Hey, I blocked that, bro. I went I went in the downward direction, dude. Is this guy, like, made out of fire? Oh, he swapped it up. Okay. All right. Damn, he's got combos, dude. There it is. Luckily, the game has bequeathed upon us a great deal of health more than that guy had. So, like, we were able to kind of cheese it through and survive. I'm going to have to get used to the combat system. I figured that my knowledge of Mountain Blade would carry me through, but I'm not super good at, like, reads yet. Uh, welcome. The battle is here, warrior, and Griefhelm is before you. Only the worthy may stand here. You will fall and you will fail. It doesn't matter. Stand up and fight again. You strive to gain an eternal reward. Earn it with an eternal drive and desire. To reach your final battle and take the fruit of salvation, you must set foot through this great siege. You must reign victorious over four locations in order to see this end. 
You traverse through locations via nodes, each of which includes a random battle. At the end of each location, there will be a leader that you must defeat in order to claim victory. Are you confused and bewildered? Well, worry not. Press onward. The truth will reveal itself more at each node. Choose your path wisely, as you cannot turn back. You can see ahead based on your visibility. As you journey, you will find many useful things. Equipment will boost your power and defense. Perks can be activated once before a battle to give you an edge during that fight. But what if you fall? All is not lost. Your spirit is represented by your lives. If you lose a battle, you will lose a life. When all your lives are gone, you will fail. You are stripped of your accrued power and sent back to the beginning. You may fail many times before reaching the final battle, but if you stand victorious, you may keep the equipment you found and bring it for the next journey. Your reward is here. Now go. Take it. I like that. I dig it. I'm going to go up here. Uh, yeah, let's go that way. So our opponent's stats. He's fast. He doesn't have a whole lot of armor. Okay, so I'm faster than he is. I hit the same amount of hardness. All right, let's go. I'll duel this guy right now. The doe, convinced it misheard, sighs and dips down to the drink of the river. So too do the mercenaries rejoice before the battle is won. See how the hunter takes them both. All right, bud. What you got to say to me out here? This man just tried to... He just tried to jump in on me, dude? How dare you? Don't even... He tried to jump in on me. Yeah, I get stabbed in the wang. That's the most honorable place to stab. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wait, who are we fighting? Okay, we're fighting on a bridge now. I like it. Oh, he almost... Yeah. Get back off me, bro. Get out of here. Damn, yellow team is getting trounced right now. All right, what you want to do? I'm going to go in on him. Go in on... Man, you got to guard your neck, dude. Didn't you listen to Wu-Tang? You got to protect your neck. He didn't even try to get a blade in the way of that. He just leaned right on into him. Like, mm, give me the closest shave ever to my larynx. I must clear my clouded mind. Great warships come from the ocean beside us. They masked those who slithered into our woods. They will learn their mistake and the day shall be ours. I got gamble. If you win, you gain two lives. If you lose, you lose two lives. Ooh, that's spicy. I like it. Oh, we've got chainmail with a cape, dude. You know I've got to go for that. Like, I have to, man. I have to. It's a it's chainmail with a cape. Nothing else here gives me a cape. If it did, I'd be going after it, but it doth not. Therefore, the cape shall be mine. Uh, I'm also going to gamble. Yeah. Yep, let's go. Did that stay active right there? Okay, good. It's active. All right, let's confirm. I can take this guy. I bet this guy fights like a punk. I bite my thumb at thee, sir. We sniffed them out. The mercenaries thought themselves invincible. As though we had never stepped foot outside of our keep. Bro, I'm a knight. I've been training to kick ass and disregard names since I was like five years old, bro. That's like all that I do out here. I will style on you and your cousins. I don't care about that. Man, get that whack-ass swing out of here. Look at that. Look at you right now getting pierced through your head. Look at you. Look at you. Reconsider your tactical options. Okay, he tried to get me with that. Oh, he got... No! Okay. All right. I see how it is. I see how it is. Apparently, he can one-shot me. I was unaware. I'm just going to keep going in with the overhead, dude. I like how there's occasionally stuff in, like, the foreground that gets in the way of your duel. That's kind of cool camera work. I, gotta, I have to win. Otherwise, I'm going to lose all my lives, man. It's going to be down to the wire out here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Dude, he's like trying to stay up on me right now. You need to back up, my dude. <laughs> the physics, him just flying all over the place. Now we get some sweet-ass armor, so hopefully this armor is better than our other armor. I don't really care if it slows me down, in all honesty. Your bulwark begins in your spirit, extends to your mind, and flows through your blade. And only when it fails may your armor protect you.
What does it do for me? My visibility is three. All right, well, we'll come over here. Apparently, that boosted up my armor, like, a lot. I mean, it lowered our mo mobility slightly, but I bet it made us, like, twice as survivable. That's what it looks like. Like, it definitely looks much spicier than what we had on previously. And I got two lives because I won. So now we've got a little bit more leeway, too, as we go further on into the game. They have brought us into Bramble and Growth. They hide among the bushes and trees, knowing not that they make their bed in a den of lions. Is that my boy right there? I think that's my boy right there. Like, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm going to guard his back real quick. I'm going to watch his back. It's not really a whole lot I can do over here anyways, so... I don't know if somebody's going to attack from that direction. I don't even know if I can work my way past my own guy. Oh, I can. So we can, like, straight up leapfrog each other. Oh, and I can get behind him, too. Okay. All right, let's go. First one into battle, baby. Let's do it. Yup, there it is. Shove that man. Get him out of here. Uh, oh, no. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I got smoting. I got smoting. It's okay. I like that I got squad right now. Just flying around squad. Oh, I'm going to tag this man with the overhead. Here we go. Bow! There we go. See, you got to shout bow when you do it, too. That makes it impact for more. That's an ancient medieval technique, I think, from, like, Florence, dude. You just go bow when you come in with the overhand. And, like, the harder you hit that B right there, the more damage it's going to do. Oh, nice. We got a visibility bonus. So we can see out, like, further, I guess. We've got a tug of war, and we've got a skirmish. I'm going to do the skirmish, because I feel like the skirmish is good for practice. The brilliant dawn is open in their desires to stand at the peak. Behold, the peak is before you now, soldier. See if you can reach it, let alone stand there. I'm going to come in low on him. Come in low on him, force him to parry a little bit. There we go, come in with the overhead. What's he trying to do? What's he trying to do? Okay, he came in low, but he missed. Oh, no, that was almost bad. Hey, got him. Sometimes he's got to dash in with the swing. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. He tried to get up on me, too. Oh, no, dude. This man is aggressive. This man has no respect. He is, like, trying to be all up in my grillage right now. He's trying to get me with that close-up chin check. He even threw a B on me, dude. Let's start with the overhead. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, and then a stab straight to the inside of that femoral artery. Give it a little slice. Let it drip down the bridge. Let him see who the champion is. This game is fun, like, in the same way that Bushido, like, this game is fun in the same way that Bushido Blade was fun. In that, like, there is, like, a skill to it, but at the same time, there's sort of, like, that sweet-ass feeling of just, like, that one swing, one kill, and then they just, like, crumple to the ground. It's got a good feel to it. I like it. Now, let's see. We got our gamble perk. Do I... Oh, the reward is another gamble perk, so we can get more lives. All right. I like it. I also like the way that the game is kind of arranged to the player with lives, but you're on kind of, like, an FTL track. I dig it. This is a venerated leader, and have raised themselves up as a legend. Find every legend is a man, and the end of every man is death. Well, he's going to find out. I'm the new legend out here. Mm-hmm. This man put on the black armor like he's tight, like he's tough. Get him with a stab right there. Get him with a... Okay. Oh, I've been stabbed. Oh, he backed up too fast. Oh, I couldn't see because of the tree, dude. I couldn't see because of the tree. My glory was stolen by a forest. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. We got to find like a clearing to fight in. Because that's a disability that the AI is not going to suffer. I'm just coming in overhead on him hella hard. That's a disability the AI is not going to suffer from. Is that like the AI is going to fight the same no matter what. Whereas like me, I need my eyeballs. So maybe I won't backtrack off any of these spots. For oh, Oh, he's so fast, man. He's so quick. I can't even get my sword back up in time. 
All right, we're fighting on the bridge now. Oh my god, dude, I got styled on. I just got fucking up melted, bro. I got starched. I got straight lamped. It's a bad situation. We gotta go after him again, though. We have no choice. It's the only track in front of us. I gotta fight this man. I will get better, or I will fall, or he'll just walk into my sword that time around. Okay. Apparently, his judgment is a tad... Maybe he gets harder every single round. I don't know. You ever notice that with, like, Street Fighter? It kind of felt like they got harder, depending on, like, how many times you had won versus... Okay, all right, never mind. Apparently, he's just going to give me a freebie this time around. I just keep coming in with the overhead. I'm really predictable like that. I don't super want to fight in front of this. There we go. There we go. Oh, I tried to get him with the same thing he got me with. I tried to shove him too. All right, we'll just stand there and get stabbed then, cousin. Like, I went up to shove him and he shoved first. I don't know what dictates like the order of shovage, but he got the shove off first. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to gamble pretty soon. What do we have going on here? Let's zoom out a little bit. So we got extra lives up there. We've got a new helmet right there. We've got lives. We've got a weapon right there. We can get a war hammer. I think I'm going to go for the helmet. Oh, I can't. I have to go for the extra. What's the armor right there? Looks like the same one that I already have. Just like a surcoat, but with no cape. What was up there? Like a short sword? That one does look shorter. I wonder if it's faster. It probably flicks around quicker. Probably does less damage, though. Kind of down on this hammer idea, man. I kind of want it. Let's go. A horde mode. We get the flame blade perk. We will burn our opponent when we strike him with a weapon. That's sick. Their crimson adornments flash through the mist. They rush through the smoldering waste. Bring them to me. Bring them all to me. It's kind of thematic, though, too. Like, the game does a pretty good job of cultivating atmosphere. Like, I, what is a horde mode, dear? Are they going to attack me from behind? Dude, they're going to attack me from behind, aren't they? I know it. All right, you're down. Turn around just in case. I don't know which way they're going to be coming from. Oh, he's got a flail? All right, I'm going to deck him real quick. I'm just going to roll up on him, like, hard. Dude, I have to get somebody with, like, a jumping Achilles stab. Oh. All right, he got the parry. He got the parry. Oh, okay. A little aggressive. A little aggressive. A little aggressive. I did. Oh, no. Well, that's not great. Yeah, I need you to, like, get out of the way. That's what I need from you. And then if I could stab you, like, that seemed like it was going to turn into a situation that was going to go south for me very, very quickly if I didn't, like, pick a direction and, like, hit it hard. My brothers and my sisters press on, chasing the mercenaries out of the woods. I stay behind. There are more survivors still, and they shall not find quarter here. We got flame blades, so that's pretty cool. If we get stuck on anything, we can give that a go. So from right here, I can get an extra life. I get a reward. Revitalize. And mount. I gotta get a life back. Like, I have to. Oh, it's an expert horde mode. Okay, I'm not an expert yet. Not even close. This one's like a cadet. We'll try that first. Like, I'm definitely not an expert at this juncture. The barbarians desire the extremes of life and seek to walk the boundary between the spirit of man and the spirit of the animal. This is kind of late medieval, too. Like, some of the plate mail and stuff that they're wearing is, like, wonderfully articulated. Like, so they're... they're it's get Oh, it's another horde mode. Okay, I'm gonna pick a direction. There we go. Get him out of the way. Just sweep him as fast as possible. Oh, he got it off before I did. I tried to go for it. Like, I thought I could preempt him, but I couldn't. Where's our... Okay. All right. All right, tough guy. All right. There we go. I'll stab you in the kneecap. Oh, his leg came off. 
Didn't expect that. Didn't expect the leg to fall off. Oh no, I messed up. There we go, get him out of the way. Get him out, they're gonna overwhelm me soon. There we go, chop that one down too. I don't even, with flails, I don't know if it's high or if it's low, dude. I don't know what the attacks look like. Oh no. Oh, got him. I love that little freeze frame that it gives you right when you score that killer hit, dude. It feels so good. It feels so good. Mount. Oh, we can fight on horseback. Well, we have to try that, right? Like, we have to. I'm going to go for the expert tug of war. I don't know if I'm going to win. Yeah, let me get a horse. Let's see how this goes. I want to test out some of these little perks. They laugh as they cut you. They sing while they smite. Such is a terrible sight, these warriors who cannot see those that they fight and kill. I've never been on a horse before, so I don't know what the benefits are of being on horseback. <laughs> My guess is that the benefits are that I'm fast as hell. I would like to see some more weight on the horse when it turns around, though. A little bit more momentum. I think would help out pretty tremendously, in all honesty, for the realism of the whole thing. Since it is a physics-y kind of game, I'd like to see the horse kind of grind in and dirt fly up into the air. Uh, little things like that, I think, matter. Where'd that guy go? Did he just, like, leave? Oh, that's right. I got to push to... Oh, he killed my horse! Get out of my way, fool. Ain't nobody got time for your nonsense. Get out of here. Time to... Adv I forgot that I was supposed to be advancing. There we go. Get him with that big one right there. Perfect. All right, next. Keep lining them up. I'm trying to... Oh, I missed! Oh, apparently they all just die when I get to the portal. Okay. Now, right, we're going to fight this fiery guy next. He's got a pretty big hammer. That's, that's a beefy hammer, dude. I'm a little bit... I don't feel great about this. Oh! Oh, Christ. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I mean, your best bet is just to back off really aggressively after every swing. Just like touch and poke really feels like the best way to do it. Because sometimes if they catch the parry just right, they get a they get a perfect counter, which allows them to flash back on you hella hard. And that's just damage you take if they time it perfectly. You're just out in the cold if that happens. So I kind of feel like dancing in and swinging, dancing out, pulling the swing if you need to. I shall take this with me, for there is always another way to claim victory than the one I'm grown accustomed to. Well, we got to try that out. Let's try out the Warhammer. I'm a big Warhammer fan. So we've got an expert tug of war over here, an adept skirmish. Let's go with the adept skirmish. I like having backup, actually. Backup makes me feel a little safer. I don't know how to use the hammer, either. It's said that the flames of Thorny Mountain feel no pain and only joy in the heat of battle. Can't be true. They feel it. They revel in it. Oh, that's like a big hammer. That's like a two-handed hammer. Listen, man, you can't. We get. We can't let him come overhead on. Oh, <laughs> that man got broke off. <laughs> Did you see him fly? Oh man, that dude got some hang time in there. Tony Hawk's pro ass whooping. Oh, dude, that guy went through his buddy. Well, hopefully he turns around and flashes on him. Otherwise, we're gonna have problems here. He did. It's a good thing my partner decided to be a hard carry right there. I actually didn't expect him to run through the line like that. Oh, my hammer, dude. You see it fly off? It came out of my hand and just off in the distance. I'm actually having trouble identifying like who's my team versus who isn't right now. All right, let me back up. There we go. I'll just clip him in the butt cheek right there. Everybody knows that the butt is the weak point of any enemy. This game is called Grief Helm. I think you've got the rough idea. Kind of a cool little limited roguelite almost where like once you're dead, you're dead and you start over and you got to pick your bonuses or whatever. 
Uh, but it's definitely like high medieval, which is cool. You don't see that very often. And so anyways, get the game down below. It's on Steam right now. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, Grief Elm. I'll see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh. Take care, everybody, and don't forget to leave a like on the video. Check out the Discord, and also check out the Twitch stream. Goodbye.